Hello everyone, my name is Ant. And on my channel usually I talk about different Edge AI boards and a lot about some computer vision application. In this video I want to combine this a little bit and talk specifically about one pretty diverse task. It's robotics and robotics uh, manipulation tasks, but in perspective of Edge device, because I was pretty often usually asked about these applications, which board I should choose for my robot. The best edge board is GPU. And of course, if you can connect your robot to the cloud, or if you can buy some local GPU, it's the best approach. Where this will not work. Limited connectivity, when maybe you robot it's like delivery robot or you work in hard environments and you just don't have connect to the cloud it's budget constraint of course like buying gpu for each robot it's like additional few thousand usd for each installation maybe it's too much power consumption limits maybe you are limited by your energy efficiency and you need some local processing. Of course, there are a lot of different uh, constraints, but usually all of them in this tree. For example, if you need to proceed like 500 frames per second, of course, you can send to the cloud, then it's limited connectivity. Maybe you have some um, limits on like uh, power dust protection, but usually one of these three main constraints, like Connectivity, budget, and power, they are blocking every good idea with uh, GPU usage. So if you have one of them, let's go deeper and look on different boards. So the first choice at the moment, of course, it's NVIDIA Jet. They are starting maybe from 400 USD with some enclosure, but of course it can be a little bit different depending on which board you will choose. And the main strange, it's compatible CUDA GPU. You can run any neural network that you can run on the real GPU, but when it's go in direction how it's working, how good it's working with some optimization, usually Jetson is good for more classical neural networks like TensorRT, you can't export modern LLM and TensorRT. Uh, DLA, you don't have support on, even for some detection network, it's hard. DLA. So Jetson, it's good from perspective. It's just small GPU uh, with good support, uh, but it's not maybe the best board among with the best performance and best price to performance comparison. What are the alternatives? Usually, it's like, in my opinion, the main three alternatives, pretty classic. Intel, Qualcomm, and AMD. Uh, they all have some options with GPU. And because of this GPU, they mostly have a good support for the modern neural networks. It's not like high tier support for everything that you can find in PyTorch. But usually if network like out half of a year ago, you can run this on all of these three devices. And with GPU, actually speed will be, it will be slower than Jetson, but compatible, maybe a few times slower. The one strong point of Intel, Qualcomm, and AMD, they have better NPUs. Uh, like Jetson has DLA, and all these have NPU. This NPU is also limited. You can't run any modern LLM or VLM on them, especially for AMD, in my opinion. They have the word support like half year. Check my video about this half year ago. There was no support for VLMs. Uh, Intel doesn't have support for depth estimation neural networks so definitely some limited support but in general they are pretty good and maybe the only concern about Jetson that price will be around the same as the Jetson device for all of them. maybe Qualcomm you can find a little bit cheaper 
Of course, you can find cheaper Intel and AMD, but they will be without GPU or without uh, NPU support. Okay, let's go deeper. So, first choice Jetson, second choice AMD, Qualcomm and Intel, third choice a low cost and specialized uh, AI accelerator. Actually, I have a lot of them on my channel. Uh, I will put a few links like uh, in reference on uh, which device you should choose for depth estimation, which device you should choose for optimal VLM LLM. Uh, let's like generalize this group a little bit. Uh, so all of them have limited support for VLM, LLM and VLA models, specifically VLA models. And you just can't take any model of out of box and run on them. But usually you, for a lot of devices nowadays, you can run like some one of VLM models, for example, or like dozen of LLM models. So you need to check what you need to run in advance. And in my opinion, one like one of the big problem, it's uh, stereo depth estimation uh, limitation. You, I didn't find any NPU accelerator where you can run it. So if it's not your uh, case, then let's go deeper. And I think we should uh, split all such devices into two groups. First, it's M2 accelerators. Usually they are faster. Usually you can uh, increase your performance by adding additional uh, devices. And of course, it's like Halo. I have a few videos about them on my uh, about it on my channel. Uh, Accelera. I also has one video about X. Also, uh, like there is Team AI, there is Deep X, and there is one interesting device that probably will be next month on my channel. So subscribe and you will know more about M2 boards. And of course, the second group is some integrated accelerators in SOC. Usually they are a little bit slower. Uh, for example, like classic example, Rockchip, NXP, Capone, uh, Texas instrument. But for some specific boards, like for some boards from Sapon and Texas instrument, they can be compatible with these M2 boards. So, and of course, uh, there are a lot of specific chips nowadays, like uh, Huawei, uh, Orange Pi specific, RV2, and, but better check. I, I will put list of uh, my videos in description. So if you need to verify some of them, you need to check specifically, will they work? So. All these boards, uh, in my opinion, they are great if you need to run some tasks with detection, classification, basic geometry evaluation, and so on. And an NPU will be sufficient, but not for stereo depth estimation and VLM VLA. So that's all that I have for today. Thank you for joining, and I meet you in the next video.